Okay, in this video we have a short introduction to the cosine rule. The cosine rule is the second of the two rules, the first being the sine rule. Now the sine rule is, rule is really nice and simple to work with. The cosine rule is slightly more complicated. You really want to come to it only if you have to use it. Now in this particular triangle you would have to use it. The reason being that there's no pair of angle side. You can see that we know the number 7 here, but we don't know that angle. We know that angle, but we don't know that side. And we know that side, but we don't know that angle. If we try substituting that into the sine rule, we're going to have a lot of trouble. Well, we're never going to get anywhere. Instead, we can use the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule is as follows. a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Now that should be familiar from uh, previously with Pythagoras' theorem, but we need to add something onto the end of that. a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. In our next video, we'll see how to substitute everything from this triangle into that equation.